Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play, well, rather, Let's Try to Play Donkey Kong Country Run, and we are returning to Blackout Basement. Uh, so, yeah, um, it turns out that I am still sick, and we don't really have much, uh, any, you know, casual uh, treatments for me to get rid of this stupid sickness. Although I do start off relatively well with ground pounding a crun uh, cruncher, e evil crunches. And I actually do, and I actually do get quite a bit done in this level, although I'm being a bit risky at the moment. Um, again, Blackout Basement is difficult, uh, unless you're that speedrunner guy that I posted last video. Seriously, check the speedruns of this place out, they're freaking crazy. Uh, but, um, it's difficult because the lights keep going on and off, and that always causes me to lose orientation on where the platforms are. It really is uh, annoying. It's really annoying, and it sucks. It's not very much funness. But yeah, my nose is stuffy. My th my uh, voice is going out, and I'm still coughing. <sighs> Sadness. But um, <sighs> I'm trying to think of what else I can say about Blackout Basement that I already haven't said. Um, I really can't come up with anything. Uh, you probably should take the uh, bonus room down there, simply so you can get the steel barrel to throw at the Lanky Kong here. But you don't need to, although it would make this part a lot easier too. Just throw the steel battle and, wa and watch as most of the, cr the Kremlings just fall apart. Oh, and I have noticed something. Um, at the menu screen, you can actually go into the level stats into level stats and see if uh, you got all the bonus barrels and if you get Kong. In order to get 100% in this game, you have to do both. on all So, no, I won't be getting 100%, as you already know, and I'm pro I probably won't be showing off the 100% ending. I'll be showing off the normal ending, and I'll be showing off the uh, casting call. But, oh my god, my nose. Oy. Anyway, we are technically moving on to Minecart Carnage. Minecart Carnage, I actually do like. I like it because it's... It's pretty much like the minecart level from Monkey Mines, except it introduces the element of instead of your minecart jumping when you jump, just your Kongs. It actually breaks more physics this way. Well, not more physics, but uh, it still is breaking physics. If you're in a minecart, you shouldn't be able to jump at all. After all, jumping would cause you to fly out of the minecart and therefore have your own momentum shoot either shoot you forward or, uh, or you know, just have you screw up. Uh, and not land in the in the in the current minecart. Um, I actually do both blackout basement and minecart carnage relatively well this time around, which is a blessing in disguise. Uh, I even get a majority of the uh, bonus rooms in minecart carnage. Kind of cool. Uh, to get to this one, you just got uh, you just have to uh, uh, jump onto the uh, floating spring. Yes, it already is breaking physics, son of a bitch. And uh, bounce into the bonus room. Not that hard to not that hard to get actually. Actually got Kong, yay! Maybe another half percent there. And these guys do have the worst jobs ever. Their entire purpose is to sit there and just have you jump on them. So you might you know consider uh, just jumping forward after you hit them. This part right here is a pain because you have to do all of your jumps early. Do it too late, you'll get hit anyway. And if you do it uh, too early, you'll get hit by the next one. Not the first one, mind you, but the next one. Oy. All right, to get to that one, just backtrack a little bit after you uh, after the last minecart section. Use both spring, get, use the spring uh, ladder, and get up there. Easy peasy. And yeah, that's the end of Minecart Carnage. I don't really have much to say about it. It uses the palette from Winky's Walkway and uh, and the uh, other. Uh, actually, it uses the palette from Minecart Carnage because that's Minecart Madness. Oi, my level names are screwed up. Anyway, we're moving on to the boss of Craig Rock Industries, Boss Dum Drum. Uh, if you recall, earlier in uh, Elevator Antics, we had a uh, special, a uh, special. Uh, Obstacle where the the, uh, the the skull crossbows barrels would spawn out slippers like that. Well, that's what this guy is. He literally just spawns out enemies at you, and then he throws a TNT barrel at you. 
the TNT barrel cannot possibly damage you because it's totally stationary. So you just pick it up, throw it at him. This guy is probably... I'm not going to say that he is, is the easiest boss because I still think that goes to the first naughty form. But he's really freaking easy. You don't really have an excuse to lose to this guy. Which is all the more embarrassing for what happens. <sighs> Poor donkey. I get hit by an army armadillo. And if you recall, I hate army armadillo because pretty much only DK uh, donkey can kill him. I do it with Diddy, so fuck you. Alright, another large banana. Boss Dumb Drum is gone, and we're moving on to the next area. Yay! Yes, Cranky. Yeah, Cranky makes a comment that uh, uh, K. Rule is not being that inventive with his bosses. Well, it's not K. Rule's fault. He has limited resources. You shut up. And we're moving on to Chimp Caverns. Another cave-like area, but you'll be surprised to note that not a lot of the not a lot of the levels in Chimp Caverns happen to be caves. In fact, we're going on to almost everybody's most favorite level. <sighs> uh, I I actually don't remember the name of this one at the moment. I apologize. I saw it and then I forgot to actually memorize it. But the gimmick of this level is that of uh, Trick Track Track. You have to use this conveyor belt-ish platform in order to actually get through the uh, the entire level. The the ad the added feature, as I noted, well, not that, that I noted, but as I was going to note in Trick Track Trek, is that now you have to collect fuel barrels in order to keep it moving. Uh, the first half of this level and the last quarter, the first half and the third quarter of this level are not actually that bad. The last quarter of this level, however, is freaking insane. I'm going to make it look ridiculously easy because, again, I play this level too much. It's it's that bad. It's not too bad, mind you, but it's bad enough to cause you to play it multiple times, usually. Oy, and my nose, my damn nose, it's so stuffed and flaring. I can't even inhale through my nose. It just sucks, horse. Anyway, uh, stay on the uh, platform right as it ends here, and you'll actually get up to a secret unguard statue. You can't even see that normally, so you pretty much have to know it's already there. I kind of did, so I grabbed it. Alright, halfway through the level. This part right here isn't so bad. It gets a bit complicated, but, you know, just follow the spring sections, and you'll do okay. I am kind of convinced that Tanked Up Trouble allow, uh, allows the player to actually skip the platform. Poor donkey, he fell off due to the coat due to the follow script. If you know what you're doing if you know what well, what you're doing well enough to actually do it. Unfort unfortunately I don't know how to do it that well, so I don't show that off. I'm pretty sure it can be done and if you can do it, please post a video response. Uh, the end down there is not actual suicide like the members of the Brain Crat screw said it was, but I really don't risk going for it. So no, I don't get Kong here. Sadness, no extra life for me. I get hit by the Ziggers again. Damn you, Ziggers. Why must you hate me so? And as we keep going through the level, this section right here, again, difficult but not so bad. Uh, enough practice will pretty much net you an easy time through this section. So, yeah, it is a matter of replaying it over and over and over. Kind of sucks because it really shouldn't be, but it is. Uh, take the blast barrel, you'll skip out on the G, but you get to avoid that ridiculously hard section right there. So I think it's pers I personally think it's worth it. And that's the end of, uh, yeah, that is the end of Tanked Up Trouble. And we are moving on to the last level of this video, Manic Mincers. You remember those spinning wheels of death that were in Poison Pond in a few earlier levels? Well, they're back, and they're all over this place, and I died. Damn it. But um, uh, this level is not that hard. I just don't do it all that well. Kind of like Blackout Basement. Blackout Basement, if you know what you're doing, is actually really easy because Diddy can skip through a majority of it. <sighs> As to that, I, I need to stop referencing that part already. Oy. Go, Rambi. Stomp the mice. Stomp them with your horn. Because rhinos can totally do that. Um... Manic Mincers is, not, again, not a difficult level, and a majority of the secret areas are, you know, e easy to find, thanks to the fact that you have Rambi through most of it. 
and the and I actually get a photo here. Yay! <coughs> oh, there we go. Coughing again. Nice. Um, I jump off Rambi to get uh, Donkey back. Uh, use Rambi or the barrel to, in order to get through here. And do it into our next bonus room. The easiest bash the baddies bonus room ever. Oh God. They this was not that. The programming for that specific for the Bash the Baddies bonus room was a lot different than the SNES. You can't pull the trick that I just did. Although if you could, it would be kind of cool. And um, yeah, that pretty much cover that pretty much covers uh, most of the things that I wanted to say about medic mincers because I really don't have much to say here. And uh, next time we will be continuing on and attempting to finish medic mincers. Uh, be safe, guys. Have a good day. Be out, yes.